Hello and welcome to the 11th tutorial in the Swift Basic series and in this part we're going to be looking at the while loop. So let's just open up our project. Loops allow code to be repeated helping reduce code. This could be useful for example if you have an array of high scores and you want to print out the scores. We did this in the ninth tutorial with the for loop but the while loop is slightly different. Let's just show you the main differences on what it is. First of all it's going to create an array called high scores make it equal to the following values one hundred eighty seven thirty four five and zero var i equal zero I'm just going to write it out and then I'm going to explain to you exactly what it is and how it works i less than five print ln or backslash i plus one colon backslash i scores i now let's let's run this and let's see the result okay need to just get out the uh, console window. So yeah, let's just run it again and take it. See, yeah, it does score 1, 100 score 2, 87 score 3, 34 score 4, 5 score 5 and 0. Unlike the for loop where you would actually set up the iterator inside the loop at the start, you set up the condition and you set up the thing that sort of affects the iterator. So you have three main parts of the for statement. The while, the only necessity is the condition. It essentially assumes that you set any variable up before. And this is great if you're using those variables for something else. So, and the while loop is good for that. Also, it assumes that you're going to be affecting it or you don't need, maybe you don't need to affect it at the end of each iteration. But if you do, you'll do it within the loop. The loop only takes one condition, like I said, any variable setup is done before. Anything and anything that changes the variables that are part of the condition are changed within the loop usually at the end. The brackets for the for for the while loop are not necessary but recommended that they help maintain the code readability, aka I can remove these brackets, still run it and it works A okay, but it just helps uh, with the readability of the code. So that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial we're going to look at the do while loop. If you have any questions feel free to message us at support at someonelsystem.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. Hope you enjoyed this video and have a nice day.